this is the first project of Cape Cod. That's one of the new papers and collections in our new Close to My Heart July through August catalog. Summertime is here, folks. Lots of water, lots of beaches. What fun. Here we go. Okay, this is the Cape Cod project. I mean, a workshop kit. So these are the instructions and the three um, layouts that we're going to do are these pictures here. So I'm going to do one layout, one project per video so things don't get too confusing. So there's one of our zip strips from the papers, half inch. Um, all of our texture or background and texture paper um, pictures, something other than cardstock, has our zip strips on them. So you want to cut those off to use as an embellishment. Um, I went ahead and did, you see, you can see how simple the cutting is, right? It's very, very simple. So I went ahead and did the cutting. And I'm going to start off with uh, the background papers. But I kind of want to go through what is in the kit. And I kind of, I'm doing this after I've already cut up the papers. But let me just kind of show you what we've got here and use your imagination to stretch some of the papers out to 12 by 12. So here is our sticker sheet. Lots of titles and phrases to use. I love that uh, fencing that is, you know, for beach fencing. And these are some of the die cuts. I really love, these are the embellishments that are Cape Cod embellishments. And these acrylics look just like sea glass. I mean, and I love sea glass, so I love those. Of course, we have our picture placeholders. And then we have a whole bunch of die cut sheets. So these are all marked on the back for what project they go with. And then you get some exclusive papers, that stripe one being one of the exclusive papers. And you get two pieces of Lagoon, the top one there, one piece of Periwinkle, and two pieces of White Daisy. Maybe three pieces of White Daisy, actually. <clears throat> and this is um, one of the background papers and it says you know happiness comes in waves and um, with a nice periwinkle uh, beach stuff on the back side now that is the background paper for project one and it's an exclusive paper meaning you can't find it elsewhere in the book so that's um, I like the stripe paper with the anchors on the back and then this is a background paper um, but it's a background and texture paper, so it's got the fronds on the back. It's a two-sided piece, but that's going to be the background for Project 3. So I'm going to set those things aside and kind of pull the background papers out. And what I'm going to do with this, it says that you, it's optional, <clears throat> but you can spray the background papers with white gloss spray. So I got a new box here for my paint box. I think I must have thrown the other one out. It was uh, well used. And so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get my white gloss spray. And I shook it up real well. And I'm going to... I don't know if it's working. Is it not working? There we go. So I'm spritzing it around. Now I would suggest you do more... On the edges, I ended up doing kind of a lot in the middle, but I needed a little bit more on the edges. So you want to make sure. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Dorothy Jackson. Smith. Thanks for watching my video. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye. So this is going to get set aside to dry. And here we are. It took a little while to dry. And see, I've got my, but I could have had a little bit more on the edges. So, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the background on. Now, this paper was cut to 11 by 11. So that a half an inch would show 
on each side and top and bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and center it with my eyeball. And I will tell you, because this is how I roll, I actually had this paper in the wrong orientation when I cut it. I cut it as if it was, well, two, two of the pages got cut. First one was this up and down. The second one was supposed to be going crosswise. So I had to make this just work. So it's supposed to be going along the bottom, not on the side. But what can I say? There we go. That <laughs> seems to be how I roll. It seems like there isn't one project that I've ever done that I haven't messed up. But we have the paper on there and it's on the side. So you can see that it says happiness comes in waves. And I'm just going to put these. Um, these were cut four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So a four by four picture will go on there. So there'll be an eighth of an inch showing all around. And it's this great, I mean, you can't beat Lagoon for any kind of beach or water scenes. So they go two on the side and then one over on the left. And I'm making it easy on myself. I'm just lining it up with the stripes. So I'm just kind of trying to find, okay, where do I, is the uh, thing that, there it is. See, that's part of a project one. See, it says project one on the back. So now I need to look to see if there's any other project ones that go here. And there's just this one little piece that actually goes on page two. And I think all these other pieces go to project two and project three. So I will probably pop those out um, before I do the next project so that all the project twos and the project threes go together. So then we have this little strip. I love that striped paper. Okay, and then my zip strip, I cut an inch off of it to go for the 11 inches of the background. And I love this postage stamp one. It's such a pretty little scene. It's very, so pretty. So that goes there, and then there's this nice anchor sticker that goes underneath. I'm going to scooch it up a bit, and then put it down. And then this, Sun and Sea, is going to go right under the, uh, or over the scene under the anchor. And then I'm just going to put my little um, four by four photo place holders there. You, um, you have those, which I've said a hundred times, you know, you have those to remind you what size to cut your pictures when you're cropping. You can either leave them there or pull them up, whichever, whatever you want to do. You could even cut your picture um, three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then you would have a white and a lagoon edge showing around your pictures, and that would look nice too. So just kind of up to, up to you what you want to do. Okay, so here we go to page two. Good grief, I'm getting out of control here. Got to set those aside. Put that over the side there, and then start on page two. So I'm going to put my little, oh, I need, there were some fronds that were missing that go down at the bottom there. Look at how delicate these are. Just, aren't they lovely? And I love that uh, big thing that looks like a tree that looks like black coral to me, which is, just gorgeous. I mean, it looks exactly like a tree in real life. It's just so wild. Okay, so these are going to go right under that picture. And I love these fronds. I'm just putting a little bit of, of um, you could use whatever kind of adhesive you want. I'm using roll-on. So there we go. Love these colors. Love the periwinkle and love the lagoon going together. 
It's just, just looks so perfect for water scenes. And that could be either a pool or a beach for those of us who don't have big, gorgeous beaches nearby. Okay, once again, we're getting the background, the 11 by 11 on top of the background sheet with the splatters on it. Like I said, the splatters are optional. So, um, you know, if you want to have that uh, fine or, or not, just up to you. Kind of depends on whether you've got any of the white gloss spray. So, um, once again, you know, this is supposed to go along the bottom, but you know, this is how I'm making do with my boo-boo. And don't feel bad about, you know, if you mess something up. It's not the end of the world and you can make it work. Just maybe not exactly like the instructions, but that's okay. I will tell you I got a little bummed that I did that. But you know what? You just go with it. Okay, so I'm lining up the first page with the second page, so I had kind of eyeball putting that in the same, same level as the uh, page one. So this is, we're going to get this sand under my feet, wind in my hair, salt on my skin. I still remember what that felt like. Salty skin, it can, you kind of feel sticky. Okay, I like this little banner here with the shells and the coral. Gosh, just a perfect color. I'm going to take my coral out here, or whatever you want it to be. I, I'm thinking it's coral, maybe... It's supposed to be something else. I don't know. Okay, so my finger is on the thing I'm looking for, just so you know. It's the little piece with the uh, beach chair that I can't seem to find. There we go. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is your little journaling card. And I'm just kind of putting it there, a little tilt to it, and then do the, the sand here. And putting a little stickum on the back, and then I'm sticking it under the sticker. Hold it in place. There we go. I love these. Actually, you know, that background does look like the canvas material that comes on those beach chairs. It looks just like it. Okay, so we're going to put the little scallop shell here, and a starfish. And I'll put the other two back in. Wish they had given me more. I love these things. Okay, so this little guy is going down above the picture the, on the top. And, um, well, let me just do a commercial. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you watch me do these things. Um, so, and if you have subscribed and you're watching, I appreciate you. So I'm putting the placeholders down. And then I'm using, I'm going to use some Tombow liquid glue for the little shells and starfish. And it doesn't, you know, when I put just a little blob on there, then it's going to squish out. And it doesn't really, it doesn't show through from the other side. So that works out really well. And it will hold those two things in place in a very strong manner. I mean, you'll be ripping the paper to get it off of there if you want to move them. So they'll hold on there real well with that. With that. So here's, put all my stuff away. And move my camera up so you can see the two pages together. Oh man, I love that background color. Is that not gorgeous? Just periwinkle with some darker hints to it. It's kind of rustic looking. Okay, I need to move up just a tad. 
so you can see the whole thing. I love this layout and it wasn't hard to do. So thanks for watching. Bye now. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.